Hey guys, welcome back. Today is Wednesday, which means we're Bible Words with Amber and Mariah. So if you haven't been with us before, on Wednesdays, we find words in the Bible that could mean something totally different now than it did then, or could mean totally the same thing, but we are diving in deeper to the words so we can get a better understanding of what the Bible means. Word. So, <laughs> so today's words are kind, not kind, 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 K-I-N-E, leaven, and leviathan. So let's get into it. First one we're going to do is kind, and the regular definition of the word kind is archaic word for cows. I did not know that cows used to be called kind. Mm -hmm. Bible definition is pretty much the same. Uh, it the domesticated bovine animals as a group, regardless of sex or age. Synonyms to this word are boss taurus, cattle, cows, or oxen. So, large cattle type animals. I thought that was cool because if I came across the word kind, I wouldn't think it was cow. No, I wouldn't either. Bovine, I would. I've heard that before. Yeah, that was one of our vocab words in Miss Hassard's class. So the first scripture we have for this one is Genesis thirty-two fifteen, and it says, "Dirty milk, M I L C H, milch, milch, camels with their colts, forty kine and ten bulls, and twenty female donkeys, <laughs> twenty she donkeys." <laughs> okay, that's not technically what it says, but I just don't want to say the other word because it makes me uncomfortable. So, and ten bulls. This is talking about their herd of animals. And it says she donkeys. <laughs> she donkeys. It doesn't say she donkeys. <laughs> but you know. <laughs> you know what it says. The second verse is Second Samuel seventeen twenty nine, and it says, And honey and butter and sheep and cheese of kind for David and for the people that were with him to eat. For they said, The people is hungry and weary. <laughs> <laughs> the people is hungry. <laughs> The people is hungry. <laughs> the people is hungry and weary and thirsty in the wilderness. Agreed. The, so this people is hungry and thirsty and weary. And cheese of the kind, so cheese from the cows. Good fresh cheese. Mm. Next one is leaven. Leaven. The unleavened bread. We've yeah. heard unleavened, but have we heard leaven? Leaven. <laughs> All right. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so the second word is leaven. The dictionary definition is a substance, typically yeast, that is used in dough to make it rise. What else would they use? What else? If they don't use yeast, it would be unleavened bread. Well, it says a substance that is typically yeast. So what else causes bread to rise? Baking powder, Baking I think, powder. causes things to rise. But would not they, as good as yeast. Would they have had that? The second definition is a pervasive influence that modifies something or transforms it for the better. So the same as it would like leavened bread or changed bread for the better. The Bible definition is one, a mass of sourdough which, which mixed with a larger quantity of dough or paste produces fermentation in it and renders it light. During the seven days of the Passover, no leaven was permitted to be in the house of the Jews. The second one says, anything which makes a general change in the mass, it generally means something which corrupts or depraves that with which it is mixed. This says, it corrupts or depraves something that was mixed. The regular definition said that it makes it better. Mm hmm so the first verse is Leviticus 2.11, and it says, No meat offering which ye shall bring unto the Lord shall be made with leaven. For ye shall burn no leaven, nor any honey, in any offering of the Lord made by fire. I wonder what the issue, like what is, why it was that they were against leaven bread? Well, it was during Passover. They did not have time for the bread to rise. Do not eat it with bread made with yeast, but for seven days eat unleavened bread, the bread of affliction, because you left Egypt in haste, so that all the days of your life 
you may remember the time of your departure from Egypt. Oh, that makes sense. So they they didn't put yeast in it because they knew it would take a while to rise, and they knew that they were going to be leaving in haste. In remembrance of that, they would not use leavened bread. So the second scripture that we're going to read for leaven is 1 Corinthians 5, 6 through 8. And they say, Your goring is not good. Know ye not that a little leaven leaveneth the whole lump? Purge out therefore the old leaven, that ye may be a new lump, as ye are unleavened. For even Christ our Passover is sacrificed for us. Therefore let us keep the feast, not with old leaven, neither with the leaven of malice and wickedness, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. So the last word we're going to do today is Leviathan. The regular definition of Leviathan is a mythical creature with the form of a sea serpent in Judaism. It is referenced in several books of the Hebrew Bible, including Psalms, Job, Isaiah, Amos. It's also mentioned in the apocryphal book of Enoch. So then the Bible definition of the Leviathan is a large aquatic creature of some kind. The Bible refers to it as a fearsome beast having monstrous ferocity and great power. The Hebrew word for Leviathan has the root meaning of coiled or twisted. So, so a like, long snake looking sea creature. In my mind, I'm <laughs> thinking like those ginormous eels. Yeah. Like, you know how they're mean and stuff? How they like squeeze you if they wrap around you? You need to stop watching sea creature shows. <laughs> Sorry, that's all they watch around here. <laughs> First verse is Isaiah 27 1, and it says, And that day the Lord with his sore and great and strong sword shall punish Leviathan, the piercing serpent, even Leviathan, that crooked serpent, and he shall slay the dragon that is in the sea. So we're a sea dragon. Oh. So it refers to the Leviathan as a fast-moving serpent or a squirming serpent and a sea monster with strength and wild nature. It's the Loch Ness Monster. So the last one for that one is Psalm seventy four fourteen. It says, Thou breakest the heads of Leviathan in pieces, and gavest him to be meat to the people inhabiting the wilderness. So they ate the Leviathan. Ooh, and now look it up. Whoa. Beauty and twisting. Look at that thing. Wow. It don't look like the Loch Ness okay. Monster, guys. Yeah, but what if the people... This one's cool. <laughs> It looks like an alligator dragon. With, like, eels attached to it. It's an alligator dragon. I'll show you the picture that Mariah saw first. Crazy. Could you just imagine if you went to the beach and that thing popped up at you? <laughs> <laughs> so that is it for Weird Bible Words today. We hope you guys enjoyed studying with us, and hopefully maybe you learned something new. We did. Definitely. If you like our videos, then you can catch us on Mondays and Fridays as well. Mondays we do Bible studies, and Fridays we do some kind of fun video with us. So if you guys do enjoy our videos, be sure to like and subscribe to our channel. And if you want to be notified when we upload, be sure to hit the little bell after you subscribe. We hope you have a good day, have a good week, and we will see you in the next one. Bye! Bye.